Alright ladies and gentlemen, finally, my last video here of the night. Um, the sixth and final college basketball game I want to recap here tonight. I've recapped the four ranked games before this one and the Kentucky game, so if you haven't checked those out, go check that out. I've done the Lakers Nuggets recap, the NBA game I watched tonight, so go, go check that one out. And then the NASCAR Xfinity Series view, if any of you like NASCAR, then go check that one out. But enough for the opening ramp. Yapping uh, opening monologue here. Let's talk about this uh, number 23 uh, number 23 Gonzaga beating number 17 uh, St. Mary's 7057 reaction and the Zags and the Gales are only lost in conference play in the WCC regular season finale and Gonzaga really dom this, dominated this game start to finish uh, Only 57 points from St. Mary's tonight. Uh, Gonzaga was scoring at will in the paint had some good feeds from Ryan Nimhard. They really didn't shoot many threes. It was mostly Graham AK in the paint tonight. Uh, I thought. Great games from Ryan Nimhard and Graham AK. And, um, and now they're in the tournament 100%. They're not just, you know, oh, they're on the bubble. They're not fully locked in the tournament. They're easily locked in now, 100%. They're in now, 1,000% in the tournament. I mean, I don't know about Gonzaga could be a, a sleeper in this NCAA tournament with Graham AK, Ryan Nimhard. Um, fuck his, fuck, where the fuck their name guard is? Number 11. Forgot his name. But Graham AK is phenomenal. And St. Mary's is still a good team. It's just really an off night for them. They were missing probably their best defender in Jefferson. And he really helped them in that game in Spokane when they first played. Scoring those like six straight points to start the second half. I was really worried about this game. And, and they're, they're 100% in now. They got wins against my Kentucky Wildcats and now St. Mary's. And since Gray has been inserted into the starting and the starting line, Gonzaga are a top 40 defense and a top 2 offense when and they're 9-0 with 9-0 with 2 quad 1 wins. I think this team has figured it out and they're an underdog it feels like. I shouldn't say an underdog but compared to the last few years I guess it feels like they're an underdog. And if they get a good matchup, I think they can go far. But uh, you gotta give credit to Gonzaga. They dominate from start to finish against a, good, a great St. Mary's team on the road. And St. Mary's is defense. St. Mary's defense has played really good all year, and it just really and it just didn't, didn't show up tonight. Uh, I thought Gonzaga shot 51.7% from the floor, 55% from three on five of nine shooting, made five of their six free throws, and St. Mary's just can never get into a rhythm. Besides that, good run to start the second half, a seven-two start. Gonzaga to call a timeout, and then back-to-back -back turnovers leads to some more fast-break points. That's really what hurt St. Mary's was Gonzaga. Forcing turnovers, 11 turnovers, and they were able to turn that into like 15 fast break points. If it, um, that was a, a big advantage. Uh, St. Mary shot 37% from the floor, 44% from three. They did have a rebound of 41 29, 20 offensive rebounds. That's where they were again, they were crashing the offensive glass. It's just they didn't shoot well tonight. Every time it felt like, oh, St. Mary's, they can maybe make a little spark here. Gonzaga will just answer back. And they were getting whatever they wanted in the paint, it felt like, with Grim EK. And Ben and Greg making some big threes. And their guard, I was talking about Nolan Hickman, wasn't really being flashy tonight. Had seven assists. Uh, the guards really passed well tonight. Nimhard, ten assists. And uh, Hickman, seven assists. Dusty Stromer out there had three points. And he, play, he, he was really out there for defense. He played good defensively. Anton Watson, two points, two rebounds. Really didn't do much tonight. It was mostly the Graham, A.K. and Ryan Nimhard show. Nimhard, 20 points, 10 assists. And, and with 20 points and 10 assists for the first time in his college career. That was one of the main reasons they won tonight. He had his best game as a, a Zag. And, um, and they should be the favorite to win the WCC tournament. I think he'll be St. Mary's and Gonzaga again in the championship, but you never know. There's some good teams in the WCC. But I, but I think these are the two best teams. AK, 24 points, 10 rebounds. I mean, Green AK's played really well.
And that's a crucial win. It's just, it's hard to stop Green AK in the paint. Green AK talked smack all the way back to Spokane and said, see you, see you, um, whatever in Monroe, I think it was, he said some type of expletive. And then backed it up with 24 and 10, and they couldn't stop him in the paint. Ben Gregg, 12 points, 5 rebounds, a good game from Ben Gregg. Uh, Gonzaga is now improved to 24 and 6 here. St. Mary's, uh, Saxon, 13 points, 5 rebounds. Forbes, 4 points, 5 rebounds. Uh, Dukas, 9 points, 4 assists, 7 rebounds. Uh, Marcelonis, 10 points, 5 assists, uh, 6 rebounds. Mahaney, 16 points, 4 rebounds. They have 3 guys in double digits. Gonzaga had 2 guys getting double doubles. St. Mary's didn't really have enough scoring tonight. Mahaney really didn't get going until the second half. Marcel Lewis might win player of the year, I think, in the WCC. I think uh, AK will win the newcomer of the year, or whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck that award is. But yeah, a big win, though. That's not going to change my opinion on St. Mary's. They finished as a WCC regular season champions with a 15-1 record. I know, you don't, I know you hate to lose games, but they got some payback after losing in Spokane. They, sh they took their beating. I think they had their comments or something on social media. I mean, I don't know why. I just don't know why some fans want to go to other people's social media and brag about the win. Like, just stay in your own team's social media and brag about the win. It's like, it's kind of immature. But honestly, it's off to say for this game. 70 57 Gonzaga win. So until next time, I'm Matt Peace. Enjoy your rest of your night.